Hello, thank you for joining me. This is Leechington. I'm gonna be starting Life is Strange episode 4, which is um, super exciting and I'm having such a great time and nothing bad ever happens in Life is Strange. Dark room. So, this is a fun time. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Show you don't know who the fuck I am time. or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. <coughs> what are you doing here, Max? Stop! <sighs> don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. With all the real I drama know this is not pleasant for any of us. Anxiety, the game. Please, tell us everything. Mm. Hey, you're drunk. Stelma and Louise. Hey, That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm you're gay. Yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. I'm gay. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. We're breaking Let's in. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Wait, the dark room, like Listen, a photography room where you develop film and stuff? Of Rachel and Ugh, Frank. Frank eating his Bean. gross beans, his Frank. plate of beans. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? She so who do you understand? most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Uh, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked so up. Weird. What else have I changed? Oh, my insides. Max coffee. So Hold on. <laughs> Chloe, you have a visitor. I'm sure it won't last, right? It has to go back. I mean, she she looked she she looked pretty happy in the wheelchair. So, and I've actually heard that paralyzed people aren't as depressed as you would think. Like their standard of living, their level of happiness goes back to what a quote-unquote normal person's would be uh, relatively fast. So, maybe she's happy. Can she be happy and keep her dead? That'd be great. Probably not though, right? Probably not. Also, there's dead whales everywhere, so that's awesome. Ugh. Wouldn't the gases build up inside their corpses and make them explode? Isn't that what happens? Did like... Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, the world is ending. Can we just sit here and look at all these corpses and the seagulls that are eating them? Yeah, it's great. Having a great time. We're going in the dark room. Wherever that is. bound and the world is still ending awesome great it's weird hanging out with you again I know I'm glad we are though it was nice that you sent me actual letters uh, alternate me is nicer and you even wrote on that cool parchment paper it's so max so pretentious but I love writing on it like an English poet you deserve the best stationery. 
probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. Aww. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Aww. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. So wait, do I have my old camera back, or did I still steal her You're dad's You're a real old survivor, camera? Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh man, it was the new truck that he bought her that was in that new picture from the alternate reality. Yeah, let's talk about it. Well, why Are you not? Okay to talk about the what accident? happened? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some so prick in an SUV me. cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, uh. and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Well, I mean, technically I do know who it is, but do I want to... Because... I... Clearly they weren't as good of friends in this alternate reality. She's going to think I know her. But I do, so I'm, it's, you mean well, I don't Amber? know her, know her, but I mean. When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be. <laughs> it might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for I'll the better. I'll take care of you. I'd like to think that too. But Aww. I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? Gonna go right up it with my nose. It is hella cold out here. Boop. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. She's so different. So much more mild mannered and sad. Just so sad. Mm. Aren't you happy that both your parents are alive? No reason, just asking. Sure would be sad if one of them died in a tragic car accident, right? Glad that didn't happen. Mm. Oh, it's a pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents wow. best the rest to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. 
pathetic, you know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Of course. Oh, now I have to actually start doing stuff. Is this the garage? I guess they converted the garage into a bedroom. Since they couldn't get her up the stairs. Let's look at all our I stuff. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Uh, hey, look at the snow globes. The snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Well, I guess that's a thing that I didn't notice before because I didn't look around. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. She has one. Hmm. A lamp. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? But she garden. can't even feel the grass now. I mean, she can still feel her face, right? She... She can still use her vocal cords and move her head. So I'm sort of confused, I guess. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. I bet she weighs even less now with her leg muscles atrophied and probably her arms too if she can't move her arms. Oh man. She has to mm. use that ventilator just to breathe. Did you cough? There's Do you need cough drops? Chloe. Can I get you anything? Oh, Max there's water right there. So cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is pretty neat. <coughs> that is so incredible. She, and she can cat browse videos. cat videos on the web. Priorities. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Bathroom. It sure is. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. Chloe is That's still a punk at heart. Her computer. But she can't stage dive in his head. Wow. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Ignatius is blue. Oh. That's cute. Okay, sorry. Water. Drink up, Buttercup. There's not even anything in it. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? What's wrong with podcasts? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. <laughs> Boring. Ouch. It was you just a thought. Could surf online and you love punk music, you could do something about that. Become a music podcast and shit. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. <sighs> what do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But. We're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? That's rude. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. I'm with you forever, Chloe girl. You didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards. I'm photos, also in high no, school. I wasn't around no excuses i'm a loser but i am trying to make things right. parents probably wouldn't oh. let me drive down by myself dude you're not super fly. Max. and i'm not trying to guilt trip you i'm sorry that's what my parents are for 
Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Yeah, I hear that. Ugh. I bet. This tech must be Not crazy. just this tech, expensive. just fucking well, being in the hospital after an accident supplies, is crazy and expensive. And always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth Fucking it? med care Holy in the USA is goddamn ridiculous. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> of course. What do you want to watch? I love movies. Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember Max. I fell asleep watching Blade asleep. Runner, so... Not when you're here. Not yet. Great. I love Blade Runner. How about I go through your drawers? She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. What? Is that a thing that lotion does? Nothing but medical supplies. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> yeah, you so sure I fucking do. <laughs> I gotta go. Movies, 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 movies. DVD player. Yeah. So here's the DVD Sorry, player. Sorry, she was gonna say something. Now What'd I just say? need to find the DVD. Draws. Wow, sir. Chloe Sorry. was a straight A student. student. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Mm. Even if it wasn't another reality. I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs. Wow. Wow. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. Good lord, they're all so blonde. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. Well, of course she does. She's still the same person. She just can't do as many things. These drawers. Oh my god. I made that <laughs> mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. That's so cute. Oh, here's the DVD. DVD. Mind if I hold your hand? I know you can't feel it, but that's okay. Should I rub your face a little bit? Oh, are we done? Oh. Never mind. Yeah. I'm just slumped over, fucking passed out. Well, Blade Runner is like 10 hours long. Ooh. 
Max. Jesus Christ, Max, wake the fuck up. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? <laughs> sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. <laughs> it's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. I had a good time too. <sighs> Fuck. Um, Except for I'm your getting my taste in her head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine. morphine. Wow. It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Mm. I'm on it, Chloe. Yeah. Her parents around? Can I like ask them if she? Cause you gotta be careful with that shit. Morphine's a fucking narcotic. I mean, they probably don't care if she gets addicted, but that shit's expensive, and also you can't administer it too often. Damn, this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. That's it. Oh please. It would be so much more than eight thousand dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. What? You really think they went to Paris just because they have a little fake off tower? Uh, uh, you thought you were different. Don't fucking talk to me like that, Alyssa. Who the fuck do you think you are? If you throw anything at me ever again, I'll fucking kill you. Don't forget the water plant we gave you. What, bitch? Love you. What the fuck? Save me a bowl. What? Oh my god, this place is- Where am I? Who am I? Aww. Aww. Who am I? Yo, yo, Max, you around in the dark room. What the fuck is this place? Who am I? How does she text? Maybe she has a thing on her computer? I mean, probably, right? Okay, let me look through all your stuff. Yeah, it's They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV. And they use her shitty tube television. Okay. I'm sorry your insurance is worthless. I mean, it got your main bills down to 8500 hey, so I mean... Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max, I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh, why... Why, why? Why would I ask about that? Chloe... I don't know how to say this, but... I'm Chloe truly wants sorry about Can I give her some? to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. I'm glad you're here. She is amazing. 
I'm so glad you're here to help her. What, like and I'm gonna ask him if she's mad at me? This is not about me right now. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I love your I daughter very you much, well, sir. Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. ask him all the options, right? Or is can. it? No, everything's great. Great, everything's great. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Yeah. Who? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, yeah, insurance is know, pretty Max. shitty. It's a scam. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? You know they didn't take the Paris trip, do I? Fucking fine. Just so say you it. finally made it to Paris. Yeah, right. We, oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience. When did that happen? Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. Mm. It's not fair, Max. What? I already talked about Joyce, didn't I? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great it's talking to you. Good to see you. you. Glad again. you're alive. <laughs> you act like it's the Bye. last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <sighs> What's in the newspaper? Yeah. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the, the Prescott, Prescott Foundation, Foundation has vowed to provide extra Jesus. funds given the local scope Rachel of this Rachel Amber is even mystery. missing in this reality. Well, of course. I guess I can't change everything. Not been seen over six months. There's just not flyers everywhere because Chloe was not her friend. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Food coupons. Choices coupon can save coupon, coupon boss. A lot of money. What am I doing? Anything? 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 Nope. Okie dokie. Crash sales. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such Such bullshit. For 3, Happy credit card. Twelve fifty per week. Oh my god. Uh, um, I'm having a bad time. Okay. Let's go up here. Why not? Why not? Let the good times continue. What's in here? Nothing? They just have a big empty room? They could like rent it out or something technically. I don't know to who. They just keep junk in here. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. I can only imagine the struggle you go through. I'm so sorry I can't help you. Thanks. Who was it? Too bad Aunt Joyce Aunt and Dorothy? William can't get okay. any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe. 
Hoping she might walk again. Mm. Mm. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Well, then do it, girl. Toys? Fucking... I kind of want to... Shoes. Mm. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Mm. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Your brother, Aaron. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident at work has been piling up. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Aw, thanks, Aaron. You're a nice guy. <sighs> I don't need to just fucking sit here. I gotta start doing stuff. I feel like I haven't been doing anything except just getting I guess sad. We stopped growing up together. Great. All right. Great. I am thoroughly sad. I really like this room. If I haven't said that, I like the layout. It's a nice, nice looking room. Okay. That must be their bedroom then. And that's the bathroom. And these are other places that I'm not allowed. All right. Hey, a picture of Arcadia Bay. It's all Bay. about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? There it is. Whatever. Sorry, what's all this stuff? Anything cool? Hmm? Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. All right. Door. Hi. Hi. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Thanks. <laughs> Can I go through your stuff? Do you mind? Clearly you do, because that is not an option. Alright. Let me just look through your fucking drawer. Joyce is already That's so a rude. Super mom. This ashtray. Hmm. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Joyce is a little stressed out if you haven't Good noticed. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Oh, jeez. Um... How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. Mm. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. What? Plus, you guys have to work, too. What day oh, is Bill it and I have no home? time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. I don't even Do know what that is. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Well, at least that Stay hasn't changed. Stay away from his son, Nathan. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not so, friends or anything. What do you think is going totally on here? Totally don't smoke with the all drugs with him. Eco havoc. Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Fair enough. You don't Except have any more shits to give. now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. Mm. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. As long as they're not coming in the house. I mean, what would she know about David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? I guess he probably shows up at the diner or something, he, but like... Uh, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus Cute. driver. Uh. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Mm. Oh, um... I, w I no was reason. just curious. Don't marry you him. Always I gotta were. go. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. <laughs> okay, let's talk about what I have to tell you how much I love You still love him, right? You're not just staying together, together for the sake again. of Chloe? He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Um. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually to listen it. to William while well, she usually ignores me. <laughs> oh, it's so Girls cute when they gang up on poor old me. Mm. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. 
I wish I was a better friend. I know Max, Chloe can't do everything. Visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Uh, Chloe needs help, or I hope so. I so. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, well, of course, Chloe's she'd rather... condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she, mm -hmm. she, do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. That could have done something good. Good. she's getting headaches. I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. Mm. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll mm. always be one, no matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. I'm having a great time. Oh, great. Oh. That is such a sweet shot of Aww. Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. You know it was her dad with his old camera. William is trying so, so hard. Jeez, both He's of them. still awesome. No. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. <laughs> Aww. They're so cute. Mm. Well, I guess I get to get the morphine now. I didn't have a chance to ask her parents about it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Eh. Eh. This is fine. This is just fine. Wow. I don't remember it looking like this. But I guess it did. Um. Nothing here. There's like prescription pill bottles just laying around. Sure. Why not? It's cool what the fuck ever. uses natural medicine too. Uh huh. Where the morphine at? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. I have to search each side individually? Are you freaking kidding me? Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Well, here we are. Life isn't going the way I fucking planned. Hey, buddy. Um. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. <laughs> oh, trust me. I will. It's just, there's just a thing and you inject it in there, right? Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Mm. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> So it, it doesn't take long. It's hooked right into your veins. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check Aww. out some old pictures yeah, of us. Yeah, I'd love to cry kids. more. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Where's the thing? Over here? Photo album. Take it. I'm just gonna look at it over here by myself. Oh, too bad you can't get up and come look at it with me. Too bad. Fucking dick move. Max, jeez. Is that okay? Perfect. Uh, except they're all sideways and oh halfway down her lap. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Uh, yeah, turn the page. Really? Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you.
I don't. I have no oh, idea what's man. like. What am I there? We say? are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. <laughs> I wish it was. Me too. Mm -hmm. This photo. Go back in it. Shove your face Maybe in it, Max. Could... Rub it on your face. Listen, Max. <sighs> My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. Chloe. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. Chloe. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Chloe. Do you understand? Mm. Yes, I do. All you have to do I do. is crank up the IV to a However, what? If, if the morphine was already in your system, then I wouldn't have had to go upstairs and get the morphine. Also, this is, um, a moral debate that I'm not ready to have. Uh, uh. I hate seeing people suffer, but I don't, I can't, but, uh, the, the, uh. I really don't know if I could do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all. And I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be a another different, way. Though. Max, you were there for your friend. Bit of a I different want... situation. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most then you need to talk life. to your family about this. Please. Help me, Max. I will help you talk to your family about this. But I'm not going to do it. I cannot. I can't. If not only for it the fact that that is murder and I will go to jail. Babe, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. That's choice. not how that works I legally, I Chloe. I said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. Right? I will I talk to them. Kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I understand, but I'd that's still not viable in a court of law. And I respect and your I right to choose, to and I out. think you should I'm be able to have the to choice. You, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. <sighs> Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe. Chloe, that's not what you want. I am leaving you again. Great, what am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do now? I'm sorry, William. What am I doing now? What is this? Really? Oh, jeez. Ugh, I hate this. Oh, God, my eyeballs. Am I doing it? Alright, 
Sweet. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I oh hope God. the flash didn't scare you, Max. I have to kill him this again, don't I? Hello? Hey, honey. Uh, what? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course. Just standing in front of the fireplace like some sort of evil, sad. Shit, where are my keys? That's what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can still keep that picture, right? That's like the last picture you, you can't took before you died. You can't just burn it. Oh my god. And no clue uh. wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because tonight uh. your mother promised to make it the world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. I look like I just sold my soul to the devil. He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. William. I'm just like in the corner in a heap sobbing into my hands and Chloe is like Max Time you're for being so fucking strange like you're never going to see us again Chloe I'm so sorry Aww. I tried to make things different for you she's not going to understand I did try she's so no idea what you're talking about I don't know exactly what you're talking about but come on mm. you have made things different like my whole life you're my best friend Mm -hmm. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? Mm -hmm. We'll be best friends forever. Mm -hmm. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Mm -hmm. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry your dad's gonna die and then you're gonna be like punk rock abandonment issues person with your stepdad who's all awful and stuff mm. great Aww. picture that I took? Okay, well, great. So basically, all of that had no positive or negative bearing on the entire rest of the game. <sighs> So it was just there to make me sad. Great. Thanks. I appreciate it. I love crying and being sad. Chloe! Chloe, I'm so you glad your spine is not broken! You get one kiss and now you're all over me? She just like grabs her face and... I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning growth. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Uh-huh. I'm gonna save this for next Max, time, so forget we've gone thanks over for this? joining me you are messing around with time for Life is Strange, episode four of The Dark anymore. Room, part one. Just uh, out everything is sad and nothing is Welcome okay. Back to the real world, so, um, see you next time.